Ida. I don't know if that's how you say it, but that's how I'm going to say it. Regardless, she's a skip for me. Not like she's bad, just not interested. Free pull and done, and nothing came of it. That's okay. I'm going to move on. So, no Yida Roth for me. But instead, uh, I'm going to just go with this team because this team is stupidly strong. The X Death Friend, um, I don't think this is much of a surprise to many people watching this, but an X Death Friend is probably the most useful thing you could find here because this is a sap orb, but unlike most sap orbs, it also includes HP sap. And as far as I know, X Death is the only character who can HP sap on his burst effect. And with that burst effect, they don't actually have to take turns in order for that to happen. Right there, we let him take one, but he missed anyway, so who cares? Let's have Jack get this break so he can LB afterwards and be all set up to go into his burst. I am cutting it a little close on this orb already. Setzer got the rainbows up. We're going to get him out of here um, right now. Well, af after Cod does Cod things. Well, actually, no. No, we're not. We're, we're going to get him in now. Yeah, now would be a good time. Or no. I'm trying to remember what I did. I don't even remember what I did. That's right. I killed the ad. This is how I did it. Because I wanted to prolong what Cloud of Darkness was doing. So, to swing these. I normally would have LD'd. But at this point, he has to take a turn. Okay, that's right. Okay, I let him take a couple turns. No harm, no foul, though. It's okay. Refresh the orb just a little bit. All he was going to do was bring those dudes back anyway, so who cares? They're going to die splash damage. They are not threatening. They can charge up a ton of brave, though. So be careful if you are going to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with these things and actually let them swing at you. They can just gain a ton of brave and one-shot you if you're not careful. So don't let that happen. But with this team, we're not going to have to worry about that at all. Because they're just going to die again. And then it'll be smooth sailing. You'll see what I'm talking about uh, right now. With this X-Death Burst effect. I always like to C-65 with X-Death Burst. It helps his, uh, helps his damage with that follow-up there. That's a little trick I learned from X-Death main Blartanian. So, thanks Blart. Very good tip. Another cool run of this I saw was Excaliblers. Um, he admitted it wasn't his idea though, but who cares? If he's where I saw it, I'm going to credit him. I don't know the guy who originally did it. Some JP guy. Um, Excalibur credited the guy in the, uh, in the video description though, because X is a good man. Reigns is in uh, all of my content. I just realized whether he is on the team, or as a call, unless it's launch immune, then hell no, but, yeah, I just, um, yeah, he, he's too strong, whether he's on the team or just helping out as a call, he, he's too strong, so he's always going to be around, unless the fight completely cocks him, then he won't be around, but they seem to have stopped doing that for the time being. Some non-synergy options for this fight, just off the top of my head. Again, I haven't really seen a whole lot since this just came out. So, see, that tends to happen. When stuff comes out and I just suggest stuff, it's really just things that I think would work just by looking at the fight. Please don't take it as gospel. Please don't. Correct me if I'm wrong about something. Some of you try to correct me and you end up being wrong, but that's okay too. Either way, somebody's learning. It's all right. Whether it's me or you, it's all right. <laughs> um, but I would imagine non-synergy options for this. Maria would be fantastic. She has sap, and she could keep you protected, nice and healed, HP damage up, very good character. Or anybody out there who did that tier 6 left crucible solo with Orin, throwing that Ferris RF sphere on Orin, he'd be really good for this too. He'd handle the orb and keep you safe. So that'd, that'd be good. Um... Yeah, I, I know there's more that I'm, I'm not even thinking of, but yeah, I mean, there's a lot of sap characters now, so 
those are those are just two. I know Orin's not a sap character, but you know what I mean. Those specific uh, <laughs> tier six left crucible solo Orin would be very good. Hell, even just even a regular Orin would, would be good for this. You just gotta get something in there to handle the zap, and you'll be fine. So, yeah, we are to a point where he is not threatening whatsoever. This is just uh, us beating the hell out of a, a giant bug flapping around. We fought this moth a lot. A lot. This is a pretty old enemy. Uh, we first saw this thing when Renoa debuted. That was back in the... That, that was pre-Cosmos. That was in the EX era. And for... For the other vets who are listening, you guys remember how hyped Renoa was back in the day? My god. Like, that that was the big don't spend anything until this character. It was Renoa back then. And then Vayne shortly after. But yeah, this, this was the boss. When Renoa came out, when we first saw this thing. Now this is the part where I no, this isn't the part. I'm getting ahead of myself. I don't have that much to say about this one. I really don't. This one, I know you're not supposed to say fights are easy, but this fight's fucking easy. <laughs> like, I mean, we're in garbage time. I think we can start saying that content's easier now. So, and I know I brought two greens and the perfect friend support, and now I'm calling it easy, but. It's not like you need this to beat it. Like I said, there's a lot of good sap options out there. And a lot of good uh, protect. Like, it doesn't have to be like a rush down thing like this to kill it. It really doesn't. So you really can just mix it up with comps and stuff. I'm just having a hard time thinking of other viable options besides uh, Maria. I just really like Maria. I'm very glad that I, I didn't skip her. Yeah, she'd be fantastic. Hell, even Trey has sap and he's synergy. Okay, it makes sense now, because I was wondering why the hell was Trey synergy for that uh, surprise Lena fight that we got with the Malboros and the Shaman. Like, what the fuck? Why is, why is he synergy? He doesn't do anything for this fight. It, it really seemed as lazy as, well, hey, Lena has a bow and so does Trey, so let's just put Trey on the banner, forget it. But since he's also synergy for this, I, I guess it made sense. Because he does have sap, so that's, that's something you can do. Hell, Kais has sap. Like, the Kais call has sap. So, even if we didn't have this XF friend, I mean, we'd still die if we were doing this strategy. But, but I mean, you have to let him take some turns and you'd be okay. Because, you know, sap and stuff. One thing I want to say about um, that last fight we got, and I don't want I don't want to just sit here and complain. I really don't. Because... Overall, I really liked it. I liked that it was exclusive content. I thought the fight was really fun. I thought they did a very good job pushing Lena, but not in a way that was so biased where you were kind of screwed without her. What I didn't like about it, though, is if they were going to give the Shaman buffs like that, they should have put a Dispeller on the banner. And they didn't. And this isn't the first time they've made that mistake, like this exact mistake with global exclusive content. Last time it was, um, there's what, he, right here is when I uh, lose Jack's buff and forget about it. I do that all the time. But they did that with Equinox when they uh, brought Shantoto in. They gave us the Beatrix Malrith, which are just ridiculous and have a lot of buffs. I mean, yeah, we can handle the orb, but there was nothing on that banner to have the spells. And the spells were pretty helpful for that, to say the very least. They did have a Dispeller, in the form of Arceella, on a separate banner. And they did that again here with Eris. Where she could just kind of, she's not a Dispeller, but she can prevent buffs. So it was like, okay, it's cool and all, but it's like you're trying to get, you're trying to convince people that they need to pull on two separate banners in order to have what they need for for what's coming at us in this fight. Which I thought was a little, a little strange. Especially since they've done that twice. Small complaint though, other than that, I loved the surprise Lena fight. I thought it was really cool. I got completely off topic towards the end of this commentary, but curious who you guys ran and what you think about what I just said. So you guys have a good one. Thanks for watching.